What's up, Packer Nation? If you're studying for the CCSP Certified Cloud Security Professional Exam by ISC Squared, you're on the right video because we're going to be going over Chapter 2, Design Requirements. We're going to cover the exam essentials as well as the review questions. So stay tuned. <laughs> So let's jump into chapter two, exam essentials for design requirements. A lot of chapter two was understanding what business impact analysis does and how it enables an organization to determine things like the inventory value and criticality of organizational assets. Uh, what that means in plain terms is we need to be able to determine a value for every asset, what it would cost the company if we lost that asset, and what it would cost to replace or repair that asset. Now, usually we allow the data owners or business managers that are responsible for that specific data to determine the value of information under their control. Uh, and, and that goes back to being able to inventory and assess each asset's valuation, as well as a determination of critical paths, such as processes and assets in a clear understanding of risk appetite. Also be familiar with the boundaries of each of the cloud service models. That goes back to understanding infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, software as a service, and where the boundaries are for each of those. Also know which party is responsible for specific controls in each of the various models. Realize that there is a significant amount of room to negotiate contractual definitions of the responsibilities and rights of both the cloud provider and cloud customer for each of the models. And also understand how cloud architecture and design support sensitive data security. Uh, be familiar with hardening devices, encryption, and defense in depth. And there are also a ton of hardening techniques that are in chapter two. A lot of them are common sense, such as removing guest accounts, closing unused ports, no default passwords, utilize local encryption, and disable all unnecessary services. All right, so let's jump into chapter two review questions. Question one, gathering business requirements can aid the organization in determining all of these aspects of the organizational assets, except for A, a full inventory, B, usefulness, C, value, or D, criticality. Now, if you said B, usefulness, you would be right because when we gather information about business requirements, we need to do a complete inventory, receive accurate valuation of assets, uh, usually from the owners of those assets, and assess criticality. Question two. The business impact analysis can be used to provide information about all of the following elements except for what? Risk analysis, secure acquisition, business continuity slash disaster recovery planning, or D, selection of security controls. Now, if you said B, secure acquisition, you would be right because the business impact analysis gathers asset valuation information that is beneficial for risk analysis and selection of security controls. All right, question three, which of the following is considered an administrative control? Is it A, access control process, B, keystroke logging, C, door locks, or D, biometric authentication? Now, if you said A, access control process, you would be right because that is an administrative control. Question four. In a cloud environment, encryption should be used for all of the following except for what? A, long-term storage of data. B, near-term storage of virtualized images. C, secure sessions or VPNs. Or is it D, profile formatting? Now, if you said D, profile formatting, you would be right because all of the other activities should incorporate encryption except for profile formatting, 
which is not even a real term. Question five. The process of hardening a device should include all of the following except for what? A. Improve default accounts. B. Close unused ports. C. Delete unnecessary services. Or D. Strictly control administrator access. Now if you said A. Improve default accounts, you would be right because we don't want to improve default accounts, we want to remove them. All the other options are steps we can take to harden devices. Question six, which is an experimental technology that is intended to create the possibility of processing encrypted data without having to decrypt it first? Is it A, homomorphic, B, polyinstantation, C, quantum state, or is it D, gastronomic? Now if you said A, homomorphic, you would be right because that type of encryption hopes to achieve that exact goal. All the other options are terms that have almost nothing to do with encryption. Question 7. Risk appetite for an organization is determined by which of the following? Is it A, reclusion evaluation? B. Senior management. C. Legislative mandates. Or is it D. Contractual agreements. Now if you said B. Senior management, you would be right because they decide the risk appetite of the organization. Uh, there is no such thing as reclusion evaluation and all the other options don't pertain to risk appetite for a company. Question 8. To protect data on user devices in a BYOD environment, the organization should consider requiring all the following except for what? Is it A. DLP agents? B. Local encryption? C. Multi-factor authentication? Or is it D. Two-person integrity? Now, if you said D, two-person integrity, you would be right. Although all the other options are ways to harden a mobile device, two-person integrity is a concept that has nothing to do with this topic, and if implemented, would require everyone in your company to walk around in pairs while using their mobile device. Question nine. Devices in a cloud data center should be secure against attack. All the following are means of hardening devices except for what? Is it A. Using a strong password policy B. Removing default passwords C. Strictly limiting physical access Or is it D. Removing all admin accounts Now if you said D. Removing all admin accounts you would be right because although the rest of the other options are good tactics for securing devices we can't remove all admin accounts the device will need to be administered at some point and that account needs to be there question number 10 which of the following best describes risk is it a preventable b everlasting c the likelihood that a threat will exploit a vulnerability? Or is it D, transient? Now if you said C, you would be right because C is the definition of risk. And that covers it for chapter two. I'll see you in chapter three, data classification, exam essentials, and review questions coming up next.